The energy trilemma is a shorthand way of saying that we're trying to do three things. We're trying to provide energy that is secure, that is reliable. Secondly, we're trying to provide energy that is affordable and is available to everybody. That's what we call energy equity. And then thirdly, we're trying to provide energy that is environmentally sustainable. So trying to meet those three goals together is actually quite difficult and that's why we call it a trilemma. The countries that manage to do well on all three goals of the trilemma typically uh, have a very balanced approach to their policy and they also have very good consultation and transparency with the energy sector and with the public. I think it's fair to say that all countries find it a challenge, although some countries do much better than others. It tends to be a bit easier for countries the wealthier they are, but interestingly, some poor countries outperform even some much richer countries. Colombia is very interesting. What they've done is they've produced a situation in which investors want to invest. So they've done really very well compared to uh, similar countries in terms of the uh, quality of their electricity supply, affordability and giving access to electricity to their citizens. According to the International Energy Agency, uh, we need $40 trillion between now and 2035 in energy supply investment and $8 trillion in energy efficiency and energy demand measures. If you look at what we need to spend to meet the goal of trying to keep global warming below 2 degrees centigrade, that figure goes up to $53 trillion. And so you've got to have this partnership between uh, the financial community, the energy developers, and the uh, policy makers to get the framework right so we can have that ramp up in investment. But my personal opinion is the science is very, very clear and so is the evidence, the physical evidence now in the world that climate change is having an impact. If we don't face up to that climate challenge, then the pressures we will face in terms of food production, diseases going to new places, and migration are going to be incredible. So we've, we've got to get this right, and we've got to get this right because the foreseeable consequences are very drastic.